from Wine Cellar Designers Group. Today we're in Palm Beach Gardens. We've got something special to show you in this wine cellar that we built for this customer. So let's come, come on in. cellar starting with the glass so this is a uh, frameless three-quarter inch glass we decided to tint the glass because a lot of windows around here and getting any sunlight in there probably wouldn't make sense why don't we get in here and I can show you some really cool things that we did what we what we want to do is have a lot of different shelves and have a lot of visibility of the bottles and what we did here is add a channel so that we can have a, a good lighting source, LED light source to be able to light all the different reveals. This is the alder wood with a black stain and lacquer. So when you're walking anywhere in the house from, from the kitchen or from front door, we have a horizontal display. And again, as you can see, the bottle rests inside a shelf so that the bottles can't just fall out and roll out. We have some cubicles, or we call them cubbies, that we have as well. You could put some case storage in there, or you could just put the bottles as you see. We have the reveals, again, with the lighting that's coming down. And this is something unique that we're starting to do a lot more. This is our Cork Ford 750s. But instead of doing the old style 750s, where they're kind of the traditional wine racks, we're now making them more into that Y make it have a really good look. Again, pour it over here, make sure the bottles cannot fall out. And you can see also the case storage. We built a small table here. You can camp something in there as well. And then as we go into back in the cellar again, we kind of mimic everything we did on the other side. Again, horizontal displays to show in the dining room. What we also did is we put a wine guardian in here. Wine Guardian is a fantastic cooling unit. It's kind of the Mercedes-Benz of the cooling units out there. As you can hear, completely silent. You can't hear the cooling unit. It's at a perfect 55 degrees, and the humidity is right now at around 60%. But what we also did in the back of the room is that we lined it with some uh, walnut. So the back panels are walnut kind of match that walnut see as you could see those veins there in black we matched it with a black alder stain as well to kind of contrast one another 